And one of the things you were you were, you told me years ago when I met you, you said that you had a memory from the war. What was that story you were telling me? Oh, about the the um, plane that crashed down in Balnamona. Yeah, well, there was several. There was one crashed in Morris Castle too, but the bloke was dead. He was washed in dead. But uh, there was one uh, in Balnamona. And Father Wheeler and Billy Welsh that lived beside us, they used to go down there once a week to play cards. They used to play cards in this house beside the, the sea. And um, they were playing this night anyhow. And we heard, I heard, we were in bed. We heard the plane go over, you know, and you could tell it was in trouble because it was making funny noises. But anyhow, then there was an explosion and uh, talk no more about it. Uh, but they were in this house by the sea and it went down there and they ran when they heard it and um, there was two young lads coming in in a boat out of it. The oldest was 19, he was the pilot the next one was 18, two Germans, children. They came in with their hands up because they thought they were in England. So Father Wheeler called out to him, he said, put your hands down. He said, you're not in England, you're in Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Two chaps. Two chaps, yeah. And what happened to them? Well, he brought them home with him, and of course they were ringing wet and everything else, so he put them in his bed. And he went down to say mass the next morning, and there was a little priest here, parish priest, and he was as cross. Oh dear, oh dear. He was really cross. Father Sinus, I think his name was. But anyhow, he said, go home, go home, go home. He said, you'll be shot, you'll be shot. There's a bit Germans loose here. And Father Wheeler said, what? He said, what Germans? He said, Germans came down the plane last night. He said, they're Lucy and they've got guns and they'll shoot you. Go home. No, he said, I won't go home. Saying mass. So he said, so I kept on to him to go home anyhow. So I said, no. So he didn't. He went on to say mass. But, but anyhow, uh, that afternoon, we were in the take and we saw the soldiers come to collect them in a lorry, and they were sitting in the back of the lorry, going down, and uh, they took them to Enniscorty, I think, that night. I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, but I think then the next day, or a couple of days after, they took them to Kildare, to the prison camp, and they were put in there, and they were there until the end of the war. But um, they sent, Father Wheeler, the most beautiful gold watch. Oh, it is absolute beauty. They sent him, and uh, his parents used to write to him every year, every Christmas. And they used to send him things, you know. So. Uh, so the young Germans sent Father Wheeler a, a Yeah, gold watch. his parents used to send him things. They didn't forget it, what he had done for them, you know. And was this during the war or after the war? Well, this would have been after the war. Like, when they came down, it was during the war. Mm -hmm. But uh, when they went home after the war, this was, this was, uh, you know. Yeah. So they were about, ni about 19 years of, years of age? Well, the oldest one was 19. The, eldest, the youngest one was 18. That's when they came down. And did you ever get a chance to, did you see them at all when they were? No, only sitting in the back of the lorry as they went away with the soldiers, yeah. And were, there, were you in their uh, uniform there still, or were they in normal clothes? No, they must have been in their uniforms, mustn't they? I can't remember. But they must have been because they would have no normal clothes to go on the, at that stage. And what was the kind of chat in the schoolyard that day, do you remember? Oh, all the chat was this, uh, to get a look at these Germans. <laughs> we thought it appear different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
things, but we didn't get a close look at them, of course, so we're surrounded by soldiers. Yeah. And Father Wheeler then was the curate here in the village, wasn't he? He was, right? yes. Yeah. How long did he stay? When did he leave? Oh, he was here quite a while. He was a lovely man, yeah. Really was. Well, he was here when I went away, so I don't know how long he stayed after. He used to play football for Wexford. That's right, he did, yeah. Mm. He was a fine man. Yeah. Yes, he loved the football. He'd talk about that all day. He used to come in to see my grandmother. He'd get up and sit on the table and the two of them would talk football all day. <laughs> Great. <laughs>